I kind of started off with having a C64 when I was six, which was the major <laughs> stir in my school because they thought I was a I was dangerous then. And then I kind of um, was using that for some time until a few years later I got a camera, basically SLR. And then I always had these phases of being more interested in photography and being more interested in, in digital technology. And I think at some point I just realized I should merge that and do art and design with technology. I, I did a lot of works that are about time, in a way, both on the design and on the art side. Because with, for film, I actually think that time, time is really, because of obviously film is a time-based, or video is a time-based medium, and, and I think this is really like, animated images or moving image really allows you to, to alter time in a way that you can see things that you normally couldn't see. Like if you look at the sky and fast forward it and or like, have some degree of time lapse, you can certainly think, see things moving that you couldn't see if you wouldn't have this like midi level of mediation in between you. And same goes for like very slow things. I'm, I'm all also kind of interested in the time, uh, but but there is more like like how things happen happen in sync and how you can use technology to see what happens at the same time and stuff like that. Photos are projected on a surface embedded in a table-like installation. The photos are randomly scattered as if thrown in a desk. There is also a prism-like object which a user can pick up and move across the images. Placed over a photo for some time, rays of light gradually start to appear from its center, which project other photos when they hit the sides of the table. When the prism is rotated, the projected image move across the sides. These projected images are actually the photos that were taken in the very same moment as the photo which the prism is currently being placed over. Employing a metaphor similar to the way in which a prism breaks up visible light into different colors, it breaks up time itself, making visible what happened elsewhere in the very same instant. Basically this project is more about how photography changed into something different, uh, in the way that, that actually like you have these two sides of photography that maybe changed in the last 20 to 30 years and one thing is that you have a certain amount of metadata attached to the images which kind of started with the data back that, that Canon introduced where you could like print your the, the time of the creation of the image on the image and which now has evolved into this huge uh, package of, of, of context data that gets attached to every image which you actually don't see but there and on the other side which is much more important actually that the people use photography if you look at sites like Flickr <coughs> that they use photography as a tool to communicate through the images so like an image that sits on your computer or sits in your album isn't really finished so you have to put it somewhere for other people to see and to talk about it and like it's, it's kind of become a tool that goes in a way beyond just making a memory the presumption behind the project was basically that you could actually look at the time that a picture was taken and on that basis see what happened in different places because you kind of you know the second when the images were taken and especially if you have an image of your own or you can make an image of your own then you have you have a moment to relate to yourself because you have some kind of emotional emotional anchor to that moment and then you can go 
there and see what happened elsewhere. Taking a photo means making a memory, choosing a moment in time and framing a situation. For many, making their moments public is already part of the process of photography itself. Buttons takes on this notion of the camera as a networked object. It is a camera that will capture a moment at the press of a button. However, unlike a conventional analog or digital camera, this one doesn't have any optical elements. It allows you to capture your moment, but in doing so, it effectively separates itself from the subject. Instead, as you will memorize the moment, the camera memorizes only the time and starts to continuously search on the net for other photos that have been taken in the very same moment. I think the creative process is really different uh, depending on what kind of work it is. Like if it's, a, if it's a visual piece, I would really start with some visual idea and then work in the way that that would work when taking photos maybe, just more looking for images and trying to, to work up from the image. But with more design-oriented things, I really sit down and, 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 and write and sketch. I always wondered how people would uh, how people would need all these sketchbooks, but <laughs> for the blinks and buttons thing, I think it was finished after seven sketchbooks. I think for most people it's kind of like inspiration is kind of a mixture of other people's work, of course, and then like a random mix of reading, watching movies and going outside. I'm working on, on several exhibitions connected to the blinks and buttons thing. And yeah, besides from that I'm working on I'm working on a few small pieces. I'm really intrigued by the fact that light is very different in different places, which I realized in um, Los Angeles at some point, and nobody believed me there that the light in Los Angeles is so like cinematic, and whenever you take a picture, it looks like a movie still, which is just because like we know this light, right? And because this light is backdrop of so many movies, and then finally some photographer told me that she would go to Los Angeles for that light, and then I finally realized that I'm not crazy. <clears throat> but ever since I thought life was really interesting and I'm, what, I, what I'm working on is to create something that would enable you to um, record the light and um, kind of use it, use it with your website or something. <clears throat> that you have this work contextually with the light or something and use that in some kind of generative design way.